In this video, we're going to show you how to properly fill out an FMCSA Intermodal Trailer Inspection Form. So let's get started. Okay, well, we are going to start with the uh, with the upper portion of the uh, of the form, as you can see right here, um, FMCSA Intermodal Trailer Inspection Form, revised on September 9, 2014. Um, this is uh, this specific form is going to be for a trailer. Um, you could also use it for for chassis there are some other ones that are, are for chassis only and this one is going to be specifically for trailers so the first thing we have to do is obviously we have to write down the date okay um location in this case um i'm just gonna um, right uh, location for Chicago Heights and the IEP will be milestone the owner milestone as well Okay, um, the trailer number, I'm just going to come up with any number. I'm going to make up the trailer number. In this case, I'm going to use um, USAZ uh, trailer. I just made up that number. <clears throat> That's not an existing number, but I just made it up just so um, demonstration purposes and the VIN number obviously the, the play that you find in front of the trailers Just remember it has to be clearly Readable we don't want um, to cause any type of air or anything that it's going to cause the audit to to fail um, we got to make sure that all the numbers are uh, readable um, neatly there you go the license plate number will be u s a t this is what i'm saying this does not look um curly, so we're gonna go U A one two four five six and I just made that number up expiration date normally these are um, Tennessee license plates so we're gonna use a, a semi right and state registered um, I'm gonna use a t Tennessee Uh, manufacturer, I'm gonna say Simonan, and the year I'm gonna say is 1995. Um, it's not a Remac trailer. It's not. It hasn't been re, 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 remanufactured. So I'm gonna put an A. Okay. Now the size of the trailer because. It's a USAZ A44442. Obviously, that number was invented. So, technically, it would be a 48 foot trailer. There you go. So, now you got a 48 foot trailer. If, if, if this would be a 53, I would write down 53 right here. Right here. But because it's not a, F, it's not a 53 trailer, we would not put S in a, 50, a 53. Okay. So. Now let's start with the uh, middle portion of the uh, of the form. Now that the top form is already completed. Okay. Okay. It is it is very important that all inspection criteria derived from the FMCSA form says CFR forty nine part three ninety six and appendix G subpart B. It's very important that it has to say that in this form. 
okay if the trailer is equipped with uh, ABS brakes you mark down that yes that we have an ABS if it's working correctly if there's no issues we put okay if it has a defect we put we write down the defect and we put the repair in this case I'm gonna say that the ABS is 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 okay If the service brakes are working correctly, we put um, OK. If there's a defect, we mark down the defect, the repair, and the description of the repair. Inspect for crack, broken, or missing loose parts. Let's say, let's say the uh, the brakes were cracked. Okay, um, so we put defective, repair, and replace brakes it is very important the, that the uh, repairs done on the uh, on the work order matches the uh, notes that you're putting down uh, on the FMCSA form to, oh, so in this case I'm just doing a quick note that I replaced the brakes so that should be fine now we move on to audible air leaks. This is for any air leaks, uh, airlines, glad hands, brake valves, anything that's leaking. If we replace it, we have to mark, make the notes. If it's okay, we just mark it okay. So we're gonna say that the brake drums are okay, that there's no defects, so we're gonna mark it okay. In this section is where we do the, uh, the where we measure the, um, the brake adjustment. Um, how do we do that? We have to uh, measure the, uh, the brake chamber travel the, uh, the rod um, I'm gonna be making the uh, a separate video on how to to do this but uh, once we obtain these measurements this is where we're gonna put them on these and these sections so it's very important that we do not exceed two inches when we measure the, the brake chambers um, we have to keep uh, make sure we keep them in between an inch and a half or an inch and three quarters max we have to make sure that it does not exceed two inches if it does we have to check the slack adjusters we got to make sure that everything's working properly uh there's other issues that could arise so we got to keep an eye for that make sure that you just don't copy this um please um because sometimes there could be uh uh if the ot looks at this form and looks that everything's like an inch and a half inch and a half inch and a half you're gonna think that um, we're just making up the uh, the measurement. So please make sure that you do measure the the brake chamber rod stroke. Okay, that would be that's what we want the brakes to be adjusted to. If they're not adjusted to this, we have to make sure that we do. And um, of course, um, if the if the adjustments are, are different, if for whatever reason it says um, uh, an inch and five eighths or an inch uh, and three quarters, technically that that's fine. That's okay. Um, if there's no work done to the brakes or anything like that, that's fine. You could you could you could write that down as long as it's not two inches. The the big thing here, the key is that if the OT comes up to the um, to the trailer and it does a, an audit on it and finds out that um, on the left front brake you wrote down that it's one inch and a half um, and they actually measure it and it's two inches or over and we got a problem there will be uh, that will be an out of service violation um, okay so make sure that it's actually done not just written now we just have to make sure that the brakes are not under a quarter of an inch on thickness. Um, there is some inspection tools out there that we could use to, to measure these, these, these brakes. Um, but uh, it, it is very important that um, for this form, and in this case, they are over a quarter of an inch in thickness. So we gotta play, uh, we gotta uh, uh, put uh, close attention to this. So right here, I will say half inch, five eighths, three eighths, um, three quarters. No, just make sure that it's that you do measure them and they're thicker than a quarter inch. Okay, 
and that has to be recorded as well like this it has to be clearly uh, written on the on the form now we go to the um, inspect brake hoses tubing airlines couplings fittings like hands etc so we got to make sure that there's no issues with this and if, the, if there was no repairs done to any of this you put found okay but if you replace the glad hand seals you do it like this See, replace glad hand seals okay um, we have to make sure that we drain we drain the tanks it has a cock pin a cock fitting in the, on the bottom of, of the air tank make sure that we do that and once we do that there's no defects we press ok um, the suspension we have to uh, make sure that we we inspect the u-bolt the spring hangers um, the leaf springs the radius rods all the components that are part of the suspensions have to be inspected no cracks no losing bolts no nothing no missing parts nothing so everything's okay press okay um now we have to inspect the uh, the pink the king pink plate and the king ping and everything that has to do with the coupling devices so if everything's okay with it there's no cracks there's no welds nothing that needs to be done to it press okay if for whatever reason you have to weld something we have to replace the king ping or, or anything in this area we press we, we check off the effect and repair it and what we repaired okay now we're in the locking devices. Trailers don't have twist locks, they don't have push pins. They don't have safety latches on the push pins. Um, me personally, um, I really don't worry about this section, but I do make a note of the doors because they have lock rods that they're secured. Um, you don't have to put it down, you don't have to write it down, but me personally, I just like to do it because uh, for the sake of it. Okay, um, this doesn't has any twist locks or anything like that. Um, we go to the slider assembly now trailers do have slider assemblies um, What I've noticed on these trailers the stoppers or the uh, slider uh, uh, Arms are bent on them. We got to make sure that they're they're properly uh, Straightened or or secured so in this case, I'm gonna put it down like this Straighten Slider Handle Ooh, I forgot up. I forgot an L right there. Okay, straight slider handle and weld stopper. Okay, the stoppers will be the ones that are all the way in the back, uh, close to the uh, uh, door sill. So we gotta make sure that that's actually um, looked at and check for any cracks or, or broken welds or anything like that uh, it could also be rotted or corroded so make sure that that's that should be in uh, looked at now we move on to the frame inspect main rails bolsters cross members IC bumper light boxes muff flaps hangers um, no cracks or well no cracked wells or any components or parent metals uh, should be uh, visible no broken missing loose sagging parts nothing like that so gotta make sure that this is done correctly what I found in this is that um, especially in a lot of these the bumpers I'll put weld bumper weld bumper and also um, replace more flat just like that so it has to be as simple as that okay um, if there's any is there is there any other repairs done to it um, we could always go back and and leave more space so we could finish the writing on that okay now we go to the landing gear the landing gear there's also always issues with the uh, with the crane handle retainer just keep in mind that there could be other issues with the legs it could be the sand shoes it could be the crane shaft it could be the gearbox it could be the wing mount it could be the, the cross brace. Just watch out for those other things. So make sure you pay close attention to that. Um, electrical, let's say um, you had to replace the tail light. Replace tail light or um, replace uh, 
sound wave plug. Okay, so we gotta make sure that we take note of that. Um, now we move on to the wheels and rims. Inspect all wheels, rims, spacers, fasteners, no bend, broken, crack, or improperly seated parts. So in this case, um, technically, uh, in the, uh, what I've seen so far, the rims are in per perfect condition. They look rusty, but they're in good condition. They're not uh, corroded or anything like that. So I will put that we have a uh, good wheels and rims. Now we go to the tires. Okay, to the tires. This is this is very very tricky. A lot of these trailers have bad tires, so we are gonna have to make sure that we um, notate these correctly. So in this case, I'm gonna put that they have a defect and that we repaired it. I'm gonna put replace left and front tire and replace. Um, uh, I say right outside rear tire. See, I, right here I could have actually wrote both of them together, but I just did, did it like this because we have the space. So you could either do, or you could put replace left inside front or right outside rear tire. It's okay. You can do it both ways. Now lubrication. The lubrication, we always do lubrication. So we have to make sure that we check these. Complete lubrication. I always like to take note of the lubrication because we always lubricate the legs, the suspension, and it's always a good thing to make a note of that on the uh, FMCSA form, just for information, informational purposes. For documentation, we have to make sure that it has a registration and we have to make sure that the registration matches the license plate and the VIN number along with the uh, FMCSA form and the document holder. So we are finally done with our form. Now we just have to complete the bottom part of the, uh, of the form with the inspection date. Um, in this case, uh, we said that we did it on March 4th, uh, 2018. So that's what we're gonna write on the uh, on the date of inspection. Um, it's very important that the date does matches the, uh, the date from the top. Um, now we have to uh, enter the uh, company that performed the, uh, the inspection. In this case, I'm just gonna write down Integrate Industries, um, best company to work for by the way um the inspector was obviously uh me edgar <laughs> um so i'm gonna just write down my, my name on there and i'm just gonna throw a quick um, signature on there because we have to print and sign remember it's a federal document we got to make sure that everything is legit we cannot lie in this document because it is a federal document so last but not least um let's review real quick let's make sure that we got all the information that we need it in this form correctly. Um, so we start from the top, we got the dates, we got the location where it was performed, the IEP, the owner, the trailer number, the VIN number, the license plate number, the expiration date on the license plate, uh, the tennis, uh, the state where it was registered. Um, just keep in mind that that might change depending on the license plate that the trailer has, um, the manufacturer, the date when it was manufactured, the size of the trailer, um, the, the brake stroke, uh, I mean, I mean the chamber stroke, the, the the thickness of the brakes, and all the repairs that were performed on this uh, on this trailer. Remember, um, it has to match the uh, the work order that was completed with this trailer um, at the time of the FMCSA. So, just uh, as a reference, make sure that you guys double check it, make sure that it it, it matches, and and you guys should be okay. All right, well. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you guys uh, understood this 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 quick uh, video and tutorial on how to fill one of these uh, forms correctly. If you guys have any, any questions, just uh, feel free to uh, leave me a comment below. And I'll see you guys next time when I um, uh, upload the uh, the video for the uh, for the brake chamber stroke, how to measure those those chambers and um, how to properly inspect the, uh, the the brakes and other good stuff. So um, little by little, we're we're gonna start to uh, uh, upload more videos for you guys. All right. So, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and see you guys next time.